Hi there, and welcome back to Helping Hands. And today I'm going to re be reviewing the Jeep Gladiator 2020. Please hit the like, bu like button and the subscribe button. That would be very helpful. Um, so yeah, I have owned the Jeep Gladiator now for three years. I bought it in 2020. And I have to say that, um, you know, I really do love my Jeep. Um, I think the only main complaint I have uh, of the Jeep Gladiator since, uh, you know, now owning it for three years, um, it's a pretty big complaint, but it's really the only complaint that I have. And that is the front windshield. Um, I, I guess, I think, I, I don't know who I was speaking with, or maybe it was just research I did. Um, maybe both, but the way the jeep uh the front windshield is made it's kind of like not aerodynamic um and i think that's part of the issue i think it's a design flaw really um because what happens is it just it keeps cracking i mean any little thing any little stone gets on it or or just any time <laughs> numerous times it just it, cra it has cracked. I think I've had it cracked three times since I've had it. And uh, the first two times it was some kind of pebble or stone, uh, I believe. And the last time was really crazy. And it was, uh, it, it appears just from, to me it seemed like it just cracked from heat because nothing hit it. And there's no evidence of any kind of stone or anything on it. Uh, you know, like with the other two times that the, the windshield broke. Um, and this last time, I haven't, I haven't changed it yet. I've had it broken on there for a while, but what I did was buy one of those kits um, online that you can um, mend the crack yourself um, so it won't grow. And, I mean, you know, Eventually, I will replace it again, but you know, it will probably happen again. But for now, this is I've, I've done that and had it on there for quite a while until I can, you know, until I'm able to, to, to replace it again and then be prepared for it to happen again. Ugh, it's so awful. But um, yeah, I mean, as I, if anybody knows of something uh, that will prevent that, you know, please leave in the comments. Um, for everyone, and, and if anybody else has had that situation as well, please leave something in the comments, because um, I'm sure, you know, most Jeep owners have probably had a very similar experience. Um, so, yeah, I think that this last time when that happened was that the the um, it was some kind of heat to cold I think that happened because I think it was really cold outside turn on the heater and then I just started to see this crack grow in the window it was really strange and I still I'm trying to think well maybe my eyes were deceiving me maybe that's not what happened but I'm pretty sure that is what happened because again there was no evidence of a stone a rock a pebble or anything like that um, so I think that's what happened and I saw it with my own eyes start to happen and then uh, you know I fixed it with that patch that I got online and it's held up pretty good but you know eventually it will have to be fixed it will have to be replaced again as well so um, yeah that's my main complaint I think there's a design flaw and I think it has to do with the the it's not aerodynamic because uh, as you can see in, in one of my other reviews, I uh, had an old Volvo um, that I had for years and, you know, pebbles would hit that windshield and it never cracked. It never cracked. And it's probably just, you know, 
cars were, were built better back then or just that model or just Volvos in general just they're they're you know they're built like tanks but that you know all the years and I had that Volvo for many years I think it was I don't know how many years I had it but I had it for a long time and uh, yeah I mean pebbles would hit it and you could see where they hit it it hit it but no cracks ever grew on that windshield but on the Jeep constantly and it's you know you know very shortly after I bought it it happened the first time and then I replaced the whole windshield and then it happened again replaced the whole windshield and then now it happened a third time and now I've just fixed it with that patch and has I've just left it like that for quite a while um, so yeah that's really my own only complaint I um, I've driven it I haven't driven it out of state I have driven it within the state in in long distant areas um, and I have taken a little rough road out, out you know rough riding out on uh, some rougher roads I'm not really four-wheeling uh, I'd like to try that well no it, it, I did actually have to use the four-wheel drive but I mean it, it wasn't like uh, you know I was out there just pushing it but I, I did uh, push it a little bit for sure and I did the, use the four-wheel drive in rough terrain and um, it's awesome it's awesome it does great there and um, yeah I mean that's really my only complaint uh, gas is not bad I mean um, gas where I live has like been three something for for quite a few years now three something up and down it gets closer to four mid three lower three kind of like in that range and to fill it up it's about maybe it you know it varies between like um, 60 and 70 late late 50 dollars like 58 to up to 70 at the highest to fill up the tank and you know that keeps me going for just running around town and stuff like that for I don't know maybe three weeks um, so it's, it's not bad on gas and even like I said when I've gone out of town it hasn't been that bad on gas um, so yeah that's really uh, my only complaint with the Jeep Gladiator thus far it's been a great Jeep I love it it's a lot of fun um, so that is my review for the Jeep Gladiator, and my year was 2020. Thanks, guys.